So I've recently been sent this photo and video from a contact I have in Germany and I had to share it with you because it illustrates precisely the problem the European continent is facing with the influx of Muslim migrants. Basically a migrant young man was apprehended after he threatened people with this meat cleaver on public transport. You can see in the photo a police officer holding the cleaver. The video of the man, and I apologise for his profane behaviour, is after he was detained by the police and you can see that his manner is pretty obnoxious. My contact says that there are countless incidences like this one, but of course we don't hear about them in the mainstream media and anyone highlighting the migrant problem is immediately accused as being either racist or Islamophobic, but this is just bully tactics. A way of shutting down free speech and anyone who dares to expose what is actually going on. Frankly, friends, I don't care if a man is white, black, yellow, Buddhist, Muslim or so-called Christian. If he's brandishing a weapon, he shouldn't be walking freely about our streets. Many of these men have killed and raped in their own lands. They do not share European values that are born out of a Judeo-Christian heritage. Their value system is born out of Islam. Now, you won't hear about these stories in the mainstream news, and so that's why it's so important to share them and to get this message out. What we are experiencing here in our time is a globalist takedown of Europe, aided by the likes of George Soros and his cronies, using any means possible, including the influx of Muslim migrants to destabilise and destroy European culture and uproot Judeo-Christian values. The EU is actually now threatening to use force against countries refusing migrants and meanwhile rich Arab countries like Saudi Arabia take in none but offer to build mosques across Germany to accommodate the flood of Muslims. Friends, it's on the record. The far left, communist Marxist powers that be, the globalists, know that in order to succeed in their quest for power, Christian culture must first be uprooted. Communist Antonia Gramsci said any country grounded in Judeo-Christian values cannot be overthrown until those roots are cut. Viktor Orban, Hungarian's Prime Minister, a lone voice championing Christianity, said this month, Our presidency has taken a stand. We cannot give in to extortion. We will fight those who want to change the Christian identity of Hungary and Europe. Friends, should we too stand together and join in the fight against this end time evil? Please pray and please share this message with your family and friends. Also friends, pick up a copy of my book, Trumpet Blast Warning from Amazon. It's free this week until the 18th of February. And also friends, stay tuned because I'm back on Eternal Radio for an all new season of End Time Hour on Saturday the 17th of February at 1pm and again at 8pm and also the following day repeated on Sunday noon and Sunday at 9 p.m. Friends, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favour and give you his peace. Amen.